Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. I have a very, very large Sam's Club haul for you today. It has been a minute since I have filled the entire table and filled the island. We had to come overflow over here and it's been a while since I've done that. So we spent almost $800 today at Sam's Club. This was the trip that I let Bryson go with me and then Kylie's gonna go with me next month. So Bryson picked out some fun like summer lunches and stuff since they're home. That's kind of what I'm telling myself about this trip and why it was so expensive. It's summertime, I'm feeding them an extra meal a day now and they're wanting to snack literally all day long. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I got a lot of fun things, but before we do, we have a sponsor for today's video. So let's go there, shall we? Before we jump into the Sam's Club haul, I wanted to thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you've been with me for any length of time, then you have heard me mention Anna Luisa in the past, but if you are new here or if you've never heard of them, Anna Luisa is a jewelry company. They offer long lasting tarnish resistant jewelry in both silver and gold. All of their pieces that I have received are absolutely gorgeous. All pieces are strength and humidity tested and most pieces start at just $39. But my favorite thing about Ana Luisa is that they are a 100% carbon neutral company. I'm gonna go ahead and just read you something that they have this little quote on the box, which I love. It says, shine without a footprint. You love looking great, but you also love the planet. Don't sweat it, we offset it. Your order is carbon and water neutral, go you. I love that. I love companies that are conscious about the planet and preserving our planet and all of that. So let me show you the pieces that Anna Luisa sent over to me this time. So I picked out a few different pieces that I wanna share with you. I was looking for just some basic gold or silver earrings. I ended up going with gold. So these ones are really pretty. So these are called the Nava Huggies. So I'm gonna take it off of the package here so that you can see better what it looks like. But that is just what the little hoop is. And we are gonna put these earrings and one of the necklaces on in a second, and I will show you kind of how everything looks together. But these are gorgeous little huggy earring, one that you could wear every day for sure, and also one that you could dress up. One of my favorite things about Ana Luisa is the packaging. So they come in these little adorable magnetic closure bags for storing stuff nicely. You can keep stuff tangle free. You can use them for traveling. I love them. Um, and this is the second item that I got. So this necklace is the Lori and it's like an infinity um, loop necklace. So there's a loop on either side. So this is the one that we're going to put on with the earrings in a second and check that out. I love this. It's so elegant and classy. It's perfect for a mama, in my opinion, like just a 30 something mama, classy and perfect. And then the last piece that I have to share with you is a everyday staple. And it is just this gorgeous chain silver heart loop necklace. I'm going to take this one out of the packaging so I can show you kind of what it looks like since I'm not going to be putting this one on today. Oh my gosh, the first thing I'm noticing just taking it out of the packaging is how good of a quality this is. Um, all of their pieces, I have had their pieces now for several of them for well over a year and nothing has ever tarnished and I've worn it all a ton of times, but this is just so perfect. This would be good for even like any girl, like a, a young girl, a teenager, a woman, like anybody would love to have this necklace, I feel like. It's just a staple every day and it even has a little bit of shimmer with the, the way the, the chain is. So I definitely love that one and I'm very excited to add it to my collection. Let's go ahead and put on the earring and the necklace and I'll show you guys what they look like on. Okay, so here's what the earrings look like. I love these. They're definitely a nicer earring, but you don't like it's not necessarily like super dressed up. And same thing with the necklace. I love this necklace. It's dainty and girly, but also, you know, just kind of 
casual as well. I feel like this would definitely go very well for a date night, um, but you can wear it every day as well. And I'm gonna wear it to Sam's Club today. So thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Check the links in the description box if you are interested in trying out Anna Luisa for yourself. Now let's get on with the Sam's Club haul. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Sam's Club haul. I am going to start on the island and then we will move over to the table. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing Bryson picked this up. Oh, and of course I will pop prices up here as always, but Bryson picked up this Gatorade Frost Thirst Quencher. This one has the Glacier Freeze, the Glacier Cherry, and the Arctic Bliss, and you get eight of each one. He won a Gatorade. However, my kids don't like the Glacier Cherry. I don't know who's going to drink the Glacier Cherry. That's always the problem is they like these two, but not this one. I'm going to force them to drink it though, because we bought this. So anyway, we got that. The next thing we picked up is a thing of Prime Bones, the Purina Prime Bones. Um, these, we get these probably every other time. So one month I'll get just the regular dental bones. And then the next month I'll splurge on these because they are a little bit, they're about the same price, but you get less of them. So I got these for the dogs this month, especially since um, the other two dogs won't be here during the summer. I won't feel bad that I'm not giving, because I don't want to give them these because they are so expensive. But anyway, we also got some more of these chicken breast tenderloins. I bought these last month because they didn't have any chicken breast that day. And we actually really liked them. We still have a few, maybe one or two meals worth of them from last month. And then I just went ahead and grabbed another one for this month. Um, we'll probably be doing lots of like grilled chicken and stuff like that this month. So went ahead and got that. I did only pick up one thing of bacon this month. I picked up two last month and we have about half of one pack left. So I figured that one of these would be enough for the month. We were completely out of coffee and I'm hoping that one is gonna be enough. Um, but I bought some like cheap Food Lion brand coffee the other day just to get us through until I went today and it is so bitter and gross. Like I have been so spoiled on Dunkin' coffee lately. Like I, I don't know, I, I don't even wanna drink it but I feel like I need to because I paid for it. But anyway, I bought this for this month. Chris ate all of his peanut butter crackers. He takes these to work or eats them after work or whatever. And I keep them up on a shelf away from everybody else since nobody else can have peanut butter. But anyway, he um, eats these a lot as snacks. We got another one of our Italian style chicken. Bryson and I actually ate this for lunch today in a quesadilla. Love this chicken. It's done and cooked and easy to um, you know, throw on a quesadilla or on a salad or whatever for lunch. So I love that. We also got another box of Ritz. This is for Chris and for Bryson. Bryson wanted cheese and crackers. We have some cheese somewhere as well. So they wanted these. I think we've been out of last month's for the past week or so. Um, so went ahead and replenished that. These Nutrigrain bars were mainly because Sam's Club was out of, which the girls don't even know that, this yet, but they didn't have any Intamin's muffins and they didn't have any chocolate donuts. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be ordering both of those things off of the website and shipping them to us, but everybody likes a good Nutri-Grain bar. So I bought a box of these to hold us over and Bryson will eat like two or three of these at a time. So those will definitely get eaten. This is a different purchase for me. So if you saw my video, um, I guess it was a, maybe two weeks ago now, I made some homemade bread and I've actually made the bread against again since then and we are loving homemade bread so i saw this um, bread and pizza flour 25 pounds for like 11 dollars, whereas the one that i was buying from food lion was like 5.99 for like five pounds so definitely a better deal we are going to be making lots of breads and pizzas i'm gonna try pizza dough we'll see if i can find a recipe that i like for that but i'm pretty excited about this i don't know where i'm gonna store all this flour really didn't think about that but i have it I got two of the Members Mark Sparkling Water. This is the same one that I bought last month. Um, we, or I, like this one. I do like the LaCroix better, but they didn't have LaCroix like at all today and they didn't have it last month either. So I don't know if they're getting rid of it. But um, this black cherry pomegranate one, which is their new flavor in this pack, is really, really good. It's probably my favorite out of all three. However, the watermelon citrus one's really good as well. So I got two of those to hold me over for the week or I'm sorry, 
the month. I got two things of the Purina Moist and Meaty Burger dog food. I mentioned last month that my dogs are being snobs and only want to eat this and it's still the case. So it is what it is. We go through about two of the big boxes of them a month and it is astronomically cheaper to buy it at Sam's Club. They're like $26 a piece for 60 pouches and at Sam's Club, or I'm sorry, at Food Lion, it's like $18.99 for like 20 packs. It's not a good deal at all. So if you buy this, definitely look at Sam's and get it there. Are you having fun? Yes. He's over there. He placed his own little uh, Timu order and he's over there opening his Timu order and Kylie has clothes she wants to order. So I'm trying to hurry so she can order so she can open her clothing. Okay, so <laughs> this is the monster of the table. So the first thing we have here is just some bath tissue and it is really dark in here today. It's really dark outside. I don't know if you tell it's been raining all day. So, you know, I have all the lights on, it is what it is. But I got a thing of toilet paper. I was gonna buy paper towels as well, but I could not fit them in the cart. So that might be another thing that I order when I order the muffins. Um, Bryson picked a lot of the snacks for this month. He asked for Chex Mix, just the traditional one. We still have some Gardettos from last month, so they will eat that as well. But he wanted some of this. And then this is actually new. So this is the Takis Intense Nacho, and it's not spicy. And it even says that on the bag, non-spicy. Um, so I'm assuming these are just going to be like red or orange, red, red Doritos. <laughs> um, the Nacho Cheese Doritos. I'm assuming they're going to taste like that, except a little bit thicker of a chip um, being in the roll. So I don't know. We'll see if those are any good. Bryson was excited to try those, and I bet the girls will like them as well since they are not spicy. And then we did get just one bag of the Cool Ranch Doritos. There's Coda down there. He is here today. It's the last day he's gonna be here. Um, let's see what else. I, you guys know, I love the Brookside and I have not bought this in probably three months. I've been going through the last bag of it very slowly. I'll eat just a few every now and then. And I finally ran out. So I bought myself the pomegranate ones and Finley actually really likes these as well. And so when she gets a sweet, a lot of the time she will ask for this. I got, let's see here, a several, I guess, of these little meals. So we got two of the chicken Alfredo's, but we're gonna eat them in one meal. Everybody in my family eats it, um, which is rare for us to all eat a meal. So literally all three kids and me and Chris eat it. So we need two of these. One of these is not enough. So I do have two of those. And then the last thing under there are the um, original enchiladas, so the ones that we usually get. If you watched my last haul, we got the hatch chili ones. Don't buy them unless you want to eat plastic. They're gross, right? They're, okay. They're gross. Don't buy them. So gross. So, I mean, I literally couldn't even eat it that night. Like, I didn't eat. <laughs> Chris is making fun of me, too. They ate them, but... So I'm not being dramatic. <laughs> they ate them, but... Uh, I don't think either one of them really liked it. They're just boys and don't complain as much. <laughs> okay, anyways, blueberries for Kylie and Finley. And then a big thing of strawberries. I believe these were $6.98 and they're huge strawberries. I don't know if you can tell. They're really big strawberries. Aw, oh, man, I picked a bad one. I'll have to get that one out of there. I thought I looked at this. I swear I did. Strawberries. Uh, two of the chicken bites. I went ahead and got two since they'll be eating these a lot for lunch and you know, they're since they're home from school. So we got two of the three pound bags of the chicken bites, chocolate syrup for chocolate milk and ice cream and all of the fun things. And then we bought this, um, cantina style salsa a couple weeks ago when we did the, um, taco bar for my family. And me and Chris really both liked this. So I bought another thing of it just to have on hand this month. And then Bryson has really been into Country Time Lemonade lately. Um, and this was much more affordable than buying the little containers of it at Food Lion or Walmart or whatever. So I went ahead and bought a big thing of this. I like to always have a pitcher of lemonade in the fridge this time of year. Let's see here. I also got the chocolate muffins. I went ahead and got two and that was mainly because they didn't have the muffins or the donuts. Um, and I you know, wanted to have options. So I got two of these. And I believe, let's see if they've increased in price. They seem to be increasing. Nope, $4.98 still. <laughs> Every time I go there, I swear they're more expensive. They used to be $3.98. Uh, but we will, I don't know if we'll end up freezing any of these since they'll probably be eating them a lot since they're home. 
Bryson grabbed the cookies and threw them in the cart. So, you know, always have to get the chocolate chunk cookies. Let's see what else is here. This is something else Bryson grabbed. These are the Uno Pizzeria steak and cheese, like sandwich stuff things. There's 10 of these. I'm assuming he's going to throw them in the air fryer. Do they have air fryer directions? They do not. So they have directions for the microwave or the oven and not the air fryer. So we'll probably just microwave them. So he will be having those for lunches as well. And then these chicken and cheese mini tacos, we decided, I mean, we'll, Bryson will eat some of them for lunch and maybe even Finley, Kylie might eat those too. They're just chicken, like just chicken and cheese in a taco. Um, might eat those for lunches and then we could eat them for a dinner as well. One night with some like yellow rice and queso and onions and peppers and all that stuff. So this says there's 56 tacos in there. This I am so excited about. Mini M&Ms are the superior m and m It's got just the right amount of chocolate and not as much of the like crunchy coating on the outside. Oh, they're perfect. So this is the first time I've ever seen these in this big thing. My kids were so excited. Bryson and I saw them on a pallet up top and I was like, if they're not anywhere else, we're climbing up there and getting one out of those pallets. <laughs> we didn't have to do that. We found them, but I'm so excited about these. I'm sure they will not last long, especially with topping like ice cream sundaes and stuff like that over the summer. Now I got two things or one, but it comes in a two pack of the instant dry yeast. I decided since I needed, or I have 25 pounds of flour, that I also needed a bunch of yeast. So um, I'm assuming this is cheaper than buying it. This was only like $5.98 for two one pound, or is it one pound total? Oh, it's one pound total. No, that's not right. It's two one pound things. So two pounds of yeast, that's a lot of bread. These are, or this is the cheese that Bryson wanted, the sharp cheddar, 42 slices. He will like cut it in four and put them on crackers because they're like the perfect size. So that was something that he wanted. I got Kylie and Fidley these mandarin oranges. They like these a lot, especially with their lunches. So this will be something like if we run out of fruit for the, the week, they can grab something in like this since it's, you know, shelf stable. I got one pack of the 93% lean ground beef. Only one thing of turkey sticks this month because we still have about half of another pack from last month. So it looks like it'll be like two one month and then one the next month. So only one this month. We did get some of the John Soles chicken fajitas for Bryson and Chris eats this as well. Oh my gosh, this is never ending. I still have a ton of stuff to show you. I decided to give these a go other than like, you know, I've been drinking the double shot energy drinks from the store. These ones are a little smaller, but they're about the same calories. They're 140 calories and they're caramel flavored and it was more cost effective. So I'm going to give these a shot. You get 12 of them. I believe it was like $14 versus you get four of them for $7 of the other ones are like $7.99. So this will be a little more cost effective and I still get my coffee that way. Bryson needed deodorant, so he did not want this one, actually. He wanted one that was way more expensive, and I said, no, I made him get this one. So, deodorant for Bryson. <laughs> um, what? You talking to me? I'm going to show them that. They really want me to show you that pool over there. Um, Bryson also picked this spicy chicken sandwich. Um, it says it's mild, so I don't know. Uh, maybe not Kylie. I don't know. Maybe Kylie. Who knows? But grab these, these spicy ones. Oh, she's making a face, so I guess that's a no. Okay, moving around this way, we got another pack of the Doritos Cheetos mix. So you get red Doritos, blue Doritos, cheddar or Cheetos puffs and crunchy Cheetos. And then we also bought a box of Pringles this month. This was a snack that Finley asked for. The only thing is a lot of my kids or most of my kids don't like the sour cream and onion ones. They will eat these and these first, and then we have these last, but it's okay. Eventually they will get eaten. I'm gonna come around this way, girls. Scooch, scooch. Um, I got a thing of laundry soap for the month. This is the one that we buy every single month. Two or one each of um, shampoo and conditioner. So I went with Pantene Pro-V this time because I got Dove last time and I switch it up every single month. I don't know. I like to switch smells up and stuff in my hair. So I got one of those this time. Chris asked for some jalapenos, so I got these ones. 
they're frozen, so we don't have to make them all at once versus the fresh ones that would, you know, we would have to make them all at once and he would have to eat like 40 of them at one time. So we just got the um, frozen ones this time. And then the girls really like this yogurt. This is the Oreo and M&M Yo Crunch yogurt. My girls love this stuff. And again, since it's summer, I went ahead and got it since we don't have to worry so much about school and waking up and all that stuff. So it's summer, we're splurging. I got the fun yogurt. We needed disinfectant wipes. These are the Members Mark ones. Oh, the four pack. The Clorox ones were like $16 and these were like nine or 10. I just couldn't see paying $16 for them. So I didn't obviously. Uh, so I got the Members Mark ones and I actually feel like these ones work better. I don't know. A couple more things over here. Excuse me, girls. This is what they keep wanting me to show you. So this is, if you remember, if you're on TikTok, this is the TikTok pool from last year. It was all around TikTok and ended up selling out. It supposedly is awesome. It's got like lounge seats in it and stuff. I decided to get this for all of the kids. My nieces live nearby us now, so they can come over and play with it. Um, and we can just like, I can lay in it in the lounge seat and tan while Finley and my little other niece play. So anyway, it was on sale this today for $29 versus they're not allowed to play in the pool no, them are, they're too big <gasps> mommy can't play in it oh okay just not them <laughs> okay uh so it was on sale for 29 dollars uh, I think it was $10 off. It was originally $39. So grabbed that for the summertime. And then there's two more things over here I haven't shown you. I got the Members Mark liquid dish soap. We were out um, of Dawn. So I just went ahead and got this. And then the last thing I got is the Downy Unstoppables that I get every month. They didn't have any other scents. I like to switch scents up, but they didn't have any new ones out. So I went with the blue, which is like my all-time favorite one. So that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa in the links in the description box. I've been wearing this all day and I just am loving it so far. So go and show them some love. Check out their website. You won't regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you on Monday. We are going to Aldi to do our big stock up for the month for Aldi. So more big grocery hauls to come. I will see you then. Have a good day. Bye.